Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. When we last left off, we just got done with Lothering and we we're in camp. And it seems these dwarves Hi. followed us. It's good to see you, my timely rescuer. Bodon Fett, at your service, once again. I saw your camp and thought to myself, what safer place to rest for the evening than in the camp of a grey wolf? I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. How does that sound? Good? Yes? What are you selling exactly? Anything, everything. But all of the finest quality. No cheap trinkets here. And my boy Sandal happens to be a bit of a hand with enchantments. Oh, yes. Sadly, it also makes us a target for bandits in the life. If there were spare hands to hire as guards, I would have done so long ago. Well, you're free to stay. Just mind yourselves. Wonderful. Thank the gentleman, won't you, boy? Thank you, sir. We won't be a bother to you and your companions, I assure you. You should need enchantments. Simply talk to my boy. Otherwise, come speak with me. Enchantment. If there's anything I can do for you, please, please tell me. <laughs> so what's your story exactly? Hmm. I suppose since you told me about you being a Grey Warden, it's only fitting for me to be as open. I am originally from Orzammar, the famed dwarven city that lies beneath the stately Frostback Mountains. <laughs> I was a merchant there too, merchant caste. These things are in the blood, you know. You can't just leave them behind. I ran a fairly successful business. Rare artifacts, you know. Old things, grand things. The nobles loved them. Reminded them of the lost glory days, I suppose. Lost glory? Our kingdoms once spanned the length of Thedos, from majestic Orzammar to Kalsharok to glittering Darmalin far to the west. They say the gold and silver veins ran so thick through the stone of Darmalin that the entire city sparked. The Darkspun took it all, of course. One by one, the old tides fell, and then all that was left was Orzammar. But we were talking about how I ended up here. Well, one day, a noble woman came to my store. She looked around for a bit, and then started shrieking in dismay. Apparently, she believed that a pair of braces I had for sale once belonged to her brother. He'd been lost in a cave-in, you see, while on an expedition to clear out the Darkspawn from one of the tunnels running close to the city. They were made specially for him. They're unique, she shrieked. He stole them from my poor brother's corpse. She had me arrested on the spot, of course. No balls. They're touching one. <laughs> and did you steal them? Well, I didn't steal them. You see, I, I've been paying these castly thugs to venture out into the deep roads for them. The lost tides. They're full of things that people left behind. Sometimes you can find a treasure. Something worth a little gold. Eh, better to do something with them than leave them to rot. That's exactly how I see it. The noble woman, she wasn't too happy with the theft of her brother's braces. Eh, fuck her. I don't know what they planned for me. I didn't want to find out bribed the guard that was watching me and took off for the surface first opportunity I got. Never look back. Yeah. Fascinating story. Thank you. You're quite welcome. Now, is there anything the boy or I can get you? Uh, enchantment. <laughs> but where do these goods come from? Not the deep roads. Look, we... we don't rob people, all right? We don't take things from people that need them. The things in the Lost Tides, what good did they do lying there? I brought them back to Orzammar, where people could look at them and remember. It's not all that different up here. There are places long abandoned by the humans everywhere. Even more now with the Darkspawn coming. What do you mean? People flee from the Blight with good reason, but they forget things. Things with value and meaning leave them behind because they're frightened and desperate. And sometimes, my boy and I, we find our way to these places before the Horde descends and we save these things. I take them away so the Darkspawn don't get them. Is that so bad? They destroy everything they touch. 
Eh, I suppose it's... Yeah, everyone has to make a living somehow. That's what I tell myself, too. Ah, these are dark times indeed. Dark times, my friend. Uh, let's see your wares. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your discount. Yeah, Modin isn't, you know, he makes a lot of sense. People run away from Darkspawn, they forget a bunch of st uh, yes. Tome of Physical Technique. Also, the rest of the Blood Dragon, Blood Dragon. See, you gotta buy all this crap. I think the portable bulwark was still in Dragon Age 2. Dweemer Room? Oh. Hmm. And see, I like this one. It just had different levels of rooms that do, you know. Instead of, well, the rune's only as effective as what the frickin' things made. What the... Grey Warden Hand Puppet. This tin-helmeted puppet is painted blue and grey. Yeah. Anyway, we need to sell some crap. Uh, we'll sell that, we'll sell that. Oathkeeper! Wait. Why the hell did I get the? Oh, I bet it was a reward from uh, douchebag back in Lothering. Don't need that. Take that. You take that. I'll use the Oath Keeper. Don't need that. Or that. Or this. Or that. Or that. Or that. And we'll hang on to that. Money. Yeah, this crap's gonna be what takes up most of my... Found cake. <laughs> A soggy brown cake-like object that has probably seen better days. This was found by Tiberius. Flecks of dog spittle still cling to it. Spirit shards. Uh, at least he has. Oh yeah. Okay, so they finally gave him unlimited agents and. All right, cool. Uh, do you have any? Wait. Sugar cake. Thoughtful gift. Lump of chart. <laughs> Rotten onion. <laughs> I know who the uncrushable pigeon goes to. Oh, wait, hold on. Manual ranger. Ooh, oh, ouch. Seven and a half gold for a backpack. Alright, now he wants 15 gold for this ranger manual. Now, there's a... Quick save. Now, there was a trick. Back in the, uh... If there's anything I can do for you, please, please tell me. Yeah, alright. So, I quick saved. Let me see I'm your sure way. Yeah, let me see a Waz. Alright. We're going to buy the Ranger Manual. Specialization unlocked, Ranger. You see, we can actually take Specialization and Ranger now. However, we're going to F9. Okay, we've unlocked Specialization Ranger. Sweet, it still works. You see, basically, once you unlock a, a specialization, it saved your profile of what, you know, where all your characters fall under. So, if you can buy, for, for instance, 
I th yeah, I think we see we still have 16. So if you can buy a manual of some yeah, of your uh, friends are formidable folk indeed. Blah, blah, Good blah, to have blah, you blah, along blah. on the road. Let's see what else I'm you I'm sure got. you'll be If you can buy a uh, say it's gone. <clears throat> but now I could I can buy the Templar manual. And then I can hit F9. And I get my 15 gold back. But now we don't have to deal with Alistair over there to try to learn how to teach people to be Templars. Also, I'm a ranger, bitch. Woo. And what do we get as a ranger? Well, we get summoned. All right. Let's see. Self. Any. Activate some wolf. Bam. Now I have a Mabari and a wolf! Cool. I, it may be cheap, but honestly, eh, I don't care. You know, if it was such a if it was such a big deal, they would have patched it by now. Oathkeeper, yay! Now, what did they? Oh yeah, that's the amulet of don't kill me. All right, so you have. The Warden's Oath, or Oathkeeper. Enchantment! Hello. Hello! It was a bit simple, but he's rather good with enchantments. And murdering Dark Spawn. Those tranquil fellas actually called him a. What was he now? A savant. I had no idea such a thing existed. I want some enchanting guns. Enchantment! Gun. Hell yeah! Oathkeeper! Yay! Now we can either have it reduce movement speed. We can do two extra electric damage, one extra fire damage. I think I want it to reduce enemy movement speed. Honestly. Runes and enchantment. You and your friends are formidable folk, indeed. Yeah, Good yeah, to have yeah. You yeah. Along on blah, the road. blah, 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 swears. Wait. You and your friends are formidable I'm sure. Okay, there we go. Now I'm in King Merrick Shield. Ah Alistair Doll. Fashioned from rags and stuck with pins. I bet I know who that goes to. A beard flat. Fa it's like a loose fitting that sits beneath the beard and keeps the drinker's alcohol accessible even after he... I know who that goes to. Sounds like Canary Prayers for the Dead. I know who that probably goes to. <laughs> That's quite interesting. Now I'm gonna wait until I have a have an excess of money before I go off and buy that backpack. Hmm. Eh, well. Now... I have this odd feeling that... the Alistair doll... Uh, where is it? Uh, 
I am grateful. He is thoughtful oh, indeed. Son of a bitch. Fifty approval. Dude. A uh, fine gift. You have my thanks. Interesting. Interesting. Alright. Jeez. Inspired minor, moderate, major. Wow. I await your command. Uh. So, life in the wilds must have been very lonely. At times, perhaps. A world full of people and buildings and things was all very foreign to me. If I wished companionship, I ran with the wolves and flew with the birds. If I spoke, it was to the trees. Hmm. But you eventually left. Such simple pleasures will only enthrall for so long. I recall the first time I crept beyond the edge of the wilds. I did so in animal form, remaining in the shadows and watching these strange townsfolk from afar. I happened upon a noblewoman by her carriage, adorned in sparkling garments the likes of which I had never before seen. I was dazzled. This, to me, seemed what true wealth and beauty must be. I snuck up behind her and stole a hand mirror from the carriage. It was encrusted in gold and crystalline gemstones, and I hugged it to my chest with delight as I sped back to the wilds. I can't imagine Flemeth was very pleased with that. She was not. Flemeth was furious with me. I was a child and had not yet come into my full power, and I had risked discovery for the sake of a pretty bauble. To teach me a lesson, Flemeth took the mirror and smashed it upon the ground. I was heartbroken. <sighs> Flemeth was right, no doubt. Beauty and love are fleeting and have no meaning. Survival has meaning. Power has meaning. Without those lessons, I would not be here today, as difficult as they might have been. Hmm. Ah, but they made you stronger. They did indeed. Not to like I really need question, to suck up to you anymore, since I gave you the Alistair Voodoo lonely. doll, but, but sure, why not? We'll go with it. I find myself at times wondering what might have become of the girl with the beautiful golden mirror, but such fantasies have no place in its reality. Alright. Now, I'm going to get the rest of those gifts. I mean, damn. If there's anything I can do for yeah, you. Yeah, you can give me the rest of those I'm free this, those are premium content things that came with the game. So, Warden Hand Puppet. A stick, I wonder what that's for. Fat loot. Chastity belt. Now I can imagine some of the because I know they're supposed to be prank items. So I can imagine some of these will either more than likely probably piss people off. Hmm. So let's uh quick save before we start fucking with people, yo. <laughs> so, um Alistair. What do we have for you? Warden Hand Puppet. Chapter upon chapter, verse on verse, as dense tome enthusiastically details the countless branches of Ferelden's royal family. The final entry describes King Merrick's ascent to the throne. Uh. Great. Super. Thanks. Ouch. Okay. Oh, yeah, I forget, because he's... Yeah, well... 
I know exactly why he doesn't like that. So... Uh... We'll just earn that. Here, have a gr- what does it say? This tin helmeted puppet is painted with blue and gray heraldry of Grey Wardens. I could get used to this, you know. Okay. I th Alistair can play with this puppet and its accompanying toy horse. Morrigan can amuse herself by inflicting indignities upon the Alistair doll. Chant of Light. Huh. So that's probably her prank. Ah, he likes that. I'm guessing, uh, yeah, I don't want to piss my dog off. The dog be the last person you want to piss off. Now, I don't know if this is going to... Ah, I'm going to guess that whatever's up here is actually... I am impressed. My thanks. Yeah. So the butterfly sword will definitely piss off Sten. We want Sten to be not pissed. She likes shoes. I'm just going to say that right now. She likes shoes. And I don't really like her. <laughs> Many insects died to make these iridescent boots. What a waste. She's a bard, so let's give her a fat loot. I, that's a wonderful thought. I don't know what to say. We're trying to make friends here. As much as I think they're annoying arrow bait, we're trying to make friends here, people. Now everyone's going to be like, hey, what's up? We got powers. Ah, I think this is the part. You just watch them. You are a true warrior and worthy of respect. All right. Now, if we I think it's spells and talent. Oh, wait, what? Huh. Now, I had thought that. Uh, I remember in Xbox 360, the your Mabari could actually get a warrior branch, and I thought it was unlocked by doing that, by talking with Stan. You are not quite as callow as I thought. That is unexpected. Uh, you sound surprised. Callow. You must have heard this before. I thought I was You'll get over it, eventually. <laughs> Yeah, let's go. As you wish. All right. Well, I've spent most of this most of this thing so far pondering the uses of gifts.
Oh well. I'm, oh wait, hold on. He got a massive strength boost. Can he? Can he wear it? No, he can't. Fuck. All right. Enough screwing around. Let's go. All right. Stun. Yes. Dog. Morgan. Let's go! Wait, Van Lauren's land? Oh yeah! This damn thing came with like all the DLC. I don't know if I want to go there. It mildly intimidates me. Actually, I think we'll go to Denerum. Let's off to the capital. Why? Well, we're not going to make it because we got waylaid by enemies and must defend ourselves or some such shit. Hey, we did get waylaid by enemies and must defend ourselves. Cool. Wait a second. This Actually, you know what? I don't think the dog can drink potions. Or can he? I could have swore he could. What? Disarm failed. This should be easy enough. Right. Let's get started. Huh? Let's get started. This should be easy enough. On it. What do you mean disarm fail? It actually requires higher than improved? Okay. Well, fuck you, game. Let's get stuck. Trap! Trap! Jeez, you got enough traps? This should be easy enough. No? Apparently... Okay, I guess we gotta go this way. That annoys me. Because I've been trying to gear myself so I could basically pop any lock and talk, talk my way out of any situation to get more money. That really actually kind of annoys me a lot that I couldn't disarm those traps. But I guess we killed the dark spawn. Oh, the Danner Market District. Now let's see here. Uh Sarah, don't look at me like that. Dog continues peering a little more determined. No, absolutely not. Uh, what the? There is no time. We have work to do. Oh, fine, bring me the stick. But this is the last time, I swear it. <laughs> okay. Actually, I wonder, since we have them in the party, if we can, uh... Can we use those items at all? Oh, wait, hold on. Sen! Wait, what do you have on? A mud idol? Oh, wait, only I can wear that. Shit. Okay. Oh, wait, what... I, I was gonna... I was gonna check and see if... Hmm... No.
No. Oh well. Right. Back alley justice. Eliminate criminals preying on the innocent in back alleys. I can do that. Missing in action. Find Rex. I can do that. Fazzle's request. Find Fazzle's sextant. Uh, where? Guile and. Uh. Wait. Antique sextant. Master Fizzle. Anyway, he wants his sextant back. Logan's push. Uh. Oh, we can take care of that. Desperate Haven. Runner brought me news. Something, something, something. Skin deep. Observed creatures. Oh yeah, somebody wants uh like undead gallbladders or some shit. Alrighty. Uh, okay. Hey, how are you? can be so tumultuous and yet the day still be so bright oh my pardon just thinking aloud are you here for the chanter's board got all the quests already how did you know well armed individuals that visit the rectory tend to be here for that chanter rosmond is tireless and resolute in her duties i'm sure you can find something of interest on her board a lot so who are you i am sister bitch. justine curator of the reliquary of this chantry <laughs> Right again. It is hard to live up to the example of Andraste. What? A burnt bitch in an urn? Uh, what do you do? The archivist tends the books, and I tend the sacred relics. I also search for more to add to our collection, which is more difficult than it sounds. Uh, okay. What's so hard about that? A hawker that? on the street will claim to have an actual finger bone of Andraste. In this city alone, you could make the skeleton of ten prophets from fingers alone. Oh. Curators often accept them as genuine. I worry about the authenticity of even our most holy artifacts. Hmm. How difficult is it to verify a I was a curator relic? of a much smaller chantry in Orlais. I thought that false relic slipped through because of laziness. But the life of the cloth is never an easy one, and that explanation always seemed hollow to me. Because it now is. I believe it's the seduction of the divine. We all want a personal connection to the maker. Nope. We want to believe that what we hold in our hands is the actual sandal that slipped from Andraste's foot before the fires consumed her. Faith is of the heart, not of the head. Hey, when somebody with by reason, actual head on their shoulders. Have powerful tools to deceive. And that's how I make my money. Uh, I'd like to talk about something else. This is, you know, starting to give me a headache. Of course, sir. On what topic? Hmm. How many relics have you found? Well, there's one that might be real. I couldn't prove it wasn't. Perhaps you can understand my skepticism. So many claims, uh, so few truths. You shut up and give me. Tell me you about your job. Patience, listening to my diatribe before. I will not bore you again. Thank you. Suffice it to say, I look for and authenticate holy uh, relics for the You chantry. said you weren't going to tell me. I, I, do you think the urn of sacred ashes Certainly. is real? My research indicates that all of the ashes were gathered into a pot or urn, yes. but it's been lost for centuries. That doesn't stop hawkers from selling pinches of the ashes of Andraste to gullible pilgrims. The real ashes may still be hidden somewhere, but it's possible the urn broke. Let's hope so. Of course, enjoy your You're visit to the You're supposed country. to be able to turn in shit to her. Maybe you just find random stuff and give it to her. Where my... Try not to scare too many people. Oh. If he comes with us, he's gonna have to fight Darkspawn. Argumentative bark. 
I know he's too young, that's my point. Keep things in, in good faith with the dog. Don't want to, uh, you know... Don't want to have the dog get angry and not murder people for me. Mages collect... I need more dog power! Ho! Alright. Wolf, you're not as good as Tiberius, but whatever. Hey, asshole. You're the Grey Warden, aren't you? Exactly who I was hoping to meet. Your hat's I fucked up, I represent a collective of mages interested in going about their lives without the constant scrutiny of the Chantry. How can I help? Next to me, and in every major settlement, you will find an inconspicuous sack containing requests from mages all over the land who need the assistance of someone skillful and discreet. Ooh, I'll take a look. Thank you, my for friend. Money. We have agents in every major settlement to reward you for work done on behalf of the collective. Make us smile upon you. Money. Woo, money. Blood of warning. Um. Oh, if this is the one. Yeah, smear goat's blood on the doors of people so they are warned. Uh, absence of Renold, friend, and see gatherings of lists. Lost his tails. Uh, who cares? He loved the out of doors. Find this missing fucker. Scrolls of Benistor. Basically, we have to find some scrolls and some dead asshole. Got it! Now, can I actually get any real progress done? I know I wasted most of this video dicking around with premium content gifts. Ooh, a wooden crate. Let's get stuck. With a deep mushroom. Hmm. Let's do a quick save. Hooded courier. Leave me to my business. Go fuck yourself then. If you don't have a job for me, you can die. Sergeant Kylon. You here to report another crime? I swear we should just cordon off the entire district. Oh, uh, can I help you, Warden? Uh, actually, do you need any help? <laughs> what? You're serious? I mean, yes, yes, I could use help. I've got a pretty popular uh, establishment that's crawling with mercenaries. If I send my boys in, someone might get, make a forbid, hurt, and I'll have to explain to their noble fathers that being a god is actually dangerous. <laughs> What's the pay? Do a good job and I'll see you get some silver in your pockets, maybe even some gold. Ooh, what do you mean to do? The name of the whorehouse is The Pearl. Beat <laughs> down any mercenaries <laughs> that are <laughs> out of line and send them a message. I said beat down, not kill. Let me make that really clear, not on fire, or exploded, or make a nose, whatever type of grisly death you can dream up. Sorry. Used to giving orders to my boys. Just leave them breathing and I'll be happy. Sign me up, Sergeant. Thank you, Warden. I'm a master of coercion. Which means I can probably talk my way through this with relative ease. Ah, the door of a blood mage relative. Alright. Um... Ah. Oh, we smeared goat blood on there, so they're, they should be safe. Hmm. Lesser elixir of grounding. I think this Knight Commander Tavish do. I think. Turn your attention elsewhere. My business does not concern you. Well, fine. Thank you and farewell. Okay, fine. Go fuck yourself, you dress-wearing Nan Nancy boy. Ooh, chests. Fuck. Ooh, chests. Fuck. Ooh, Bardy. I recognize you from Ostagar. Who the? F I trust this blood. You're a Grey Warden, Duncan's apprentice. Yep, Grandpa Ninja's main man. And good King Kingsmaps. I demand what? satisfaction, sir. Uh, hey Morgan, can you help this guy out?
Logan's charges against the Grey Wardens are false. So you would compound slander on top of treason? You dare smear Terran Logan's word? Use your wits. The Wardens would never help the Darkspawn. I do not like your tone, sir. But you may be right. I may regret this, but I cannot duel someone who may be guiltless. Leave, Warden. If I find proof, we will meet again. Hey. There, we talked our way out of that stupid situation. Dwarven crafts. Find dwarven crafts. Oh, hey. Direct from Orzammar. You won't find better. It's Gorim. Gorim is, um... Uh... He's part of another origin story. Hey, free experience. Ooh. Fuck. Okay, okay. I get it. I get it. Ooh, the door of a blood mage relative. Here, now the maker will pass over your house and not murder your firstborn or some shit. Oh, wait, hold on. Wrong story. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, I think I can... Uh... Got, ooh, Grey Warden poster. Got a cousin in the Templars. Join the Grey Wardens. Drink some demon blood and kick some fucking ass. Don't believe the lies. Friends of the Grey Warden assemble. The hidden pearl holds the key to resistance. The Griffins will rise. Okay. Now, Nod Noble Tavern. Hey, it's Brother Genotivi's house. I'm not quite concerned with that as of this moment. However, I will loot this barrel so it stops showing up in my useful vision. And when we return, uh, I think I'll investigate this warehouse. And then probably check out that place and the Non Noble and Genotivi's house. And... Alright. So, I'll see you next time, folks. Bye.